What's up gamers? Welcome to this insane video. This is pretty much how we're going to steal the master sword from the start of the game before Ganon can get his hands on it. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to be showing you the exact step by step guide to doing that. Make a new save copy if you have a previous save copy, because this is going to be wild. All right, let's get into how to do it real quick so you can enjoy a second save with your new master sword. Okay, so when you start your new game, you're gonna have to progress all the way until you reach the Inisa Shrine. This is the most important part of this entire tutorial because this is where your first auto save is gonna begin. So finish Tutorial Island and then get to the shrine. Once you're in the shrine, it pretty much creates an auto save. And at this point, you can just go ahead and go to the title screen. That's it. You now have an auto save just sitting at that shrine. And once you're at the title screen, you're going to go ahead and start your new game. Yes. So it's basically two new games in order to pull this off. It's a pretty fun glitch. So what you essentially want to do is run through the entire beginning part of the game. Basically, you're going to have Zelda with you. You're going to progress down. She's going to do all her things. You're going to go ahead and fight some bats with your master sword. And then she's going to talk about some zone devices. And then you're going to go downstairs to these steps full of gloom and malice and treachery. And this is pretty much the steps until you reach where Ganon is laying. And this is the most important part where you're going to want to go ahead and hit a hard save. This is the spot. At this point, you don't want to progress anymore. So go ahead and hit save on your copy. After you do select your hard save, you're all done with that. You're then going to go ahead and hit load and from that load you're going to go all the way down to where you were at the in isa shrine right at that auto save so go ahead and load that up okay you're back in the shrine with your auto save so what you're going to do is immediately head over to that wall and you're going to break it so pretty much you can either fuse a weapon with a stone or if you already have something that can smash stone go ahead and do that i have this rock hammer over here that i'm going to use Go ahead, take out that sword and just smash up those rocks. After you break that wall, you're then going to ultra hand this rock over here and bring it forward right up to there. And then we're going to turn to our right side, right in this water, and we're going to place the rock close to these fire fruits over here. Perfect. Then you want this rock to be as close to the wall as you can possibly get it. So then you're going to jump up with Link on top of this wall over here and you're gonna face the wall to kind of see how close you can get pretty much. Right about there should be good. And we're just gonna face the wall. Now at this point, once you're facing the wall, we're going to go ahead and open up our menu. And then we're going to select a certain weapon in our hand. This is going to utilize the duplication glitch that we've talked about in a previous video. And what we're gonna do here is going to be doing the duplication glitch. So go ahead and then drop your first weapon. Then you're gonna select your second weapon. After you select your second weapon, we're going to plus plus in and out back to this menu. After you've plus plus successfully back to this menu, you're then going to drop your second weapon. Once you successfully dropped your second weapon, we're then going to load and go right beneath Hyrule Castle. This is exactly where our main save is. So. We did something in our autosave, and now we're going to our main save. So pretty much we're, we're, you're going to see how cool this is. So what we're going to be looking for once you're in the exact spot beneath Hyrule Castle is you're going to be looking for that weapon that you dropped. And uh, here's some footage of me just uh, looking to find out where on earth I put it, because it's clearly not down there. And uh, yeah, Phil's going to notice in a, in a second that yeah, there it is, a rock hammer. Now, at this point in the game, you're not supposed to acquire any extra weapons. Nothing like this at all. And because you have acquired a weapon at this part of the game, it's going to cause the game to progress thinking, hey, you got a weapon. So here's how to equip your weapon and here's how to select your weapon. And because now you can select your weapon, if you look at the top left side of the screen, you can now press the D-pad right to open up the menu <laughs> and see that over there. Once you successfully have the weapons showing up, go ahead and you're going to hard save again underneath Hyrule Castle. You basically are sneaking weapons into this game, <laughs> into this other save. Now at this point, this is where you're going to be doing the exact same duplication glitch again. So you're going to open up your menu and you're going to drop your master sword that is named message not found <laughs> with an attack power of 30. And then what you're going to do is equip your second weapon and then you're going to hit plus plus to get in and out of the menu. And then you're going to drop the second weapon. At that point, when you drop it, you're going to go ahead and just load your game and select in Isa Shrine exactly where you were. 
If for some reason you're not able to get the weapon to appear at the cutscene area where, where Zelda is, just go ahead and reload your game and repeat the shrine again and again a couple of times until you get it. It's going to happen. Not everyone's going to have a perfect run, but eventually you will be able to get it. Now, this is really cool because essentially what we just did was steal the master sword out of that save and bring it over to this save. And I want to show you exactly how we're going to find it. But essentially, we kind of did some weird time travel shenanigans in a parallel alternate timeline where Ganon didn't break that sword and this Link now has gotten the sword. So I don't know, a lot of shenanigans happening here. So go ahead and re-break this wall again. And this time you're not gonna bring the rock with you and you're gonna angle yourself up against this wall and you're gonna be looking for this master sword. Okay, it's not gonna say master sword. It's gonna have that weird glitchy name, but it's gonna be here. And then you found it, <laughs> the message not found. And uh, once you have your message not found, you can then equip it. And you can see it has a power of 30 and you can see that right below message not found it says the revitalized sword of legend now, if you need to check where the Master Sword is, you're going to have to reload your autosave back at the shrine, go through the entire shrine part again, and search the borders of the wall. If you're not able to find the Master Sword at the borders of the wall, then you're going to have to come back to the depths below Hyrule Castle with Zelda by you and do that entire part again, where you're going to drop the sword and that. But that's why you did the hard save, so you're safe down there to try to bring the Master Sword over. And just like that, <laughs> You've officially jacked the Master Sword away from Ganon. And on top of this, you can get your other Master Sword that is in the game. And this one is never going to break and it's always going to be having the cool charge attacks and it's going to be nice and glowy and you can take this with you throughout the game. All right, so now you're going to be able to experiment with this master sword in your new save file and there's going to be a lot of things people are going to be experimenting with. I don't know if it's going to crash the game files. I don't know if it's going to cause an error later, but we're going to have to find out. Otherwise, this is just really cool to do and I'm going to be probably doing my fourth playthrough with the bootleg master sword. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what's going on and if you have any problems just repeat the steps over and over again that you did see in the video and you should be able to grab yourself a nice master sword if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video take care